they take the second half pick off, they drive on you, and they just couldn't seem to stop them in the second half. But what was the biggest difference in your opinion there? Shoot, I um, I think one of the biggest things is we couldn't get off the field on third down. They kept trying, they kept finding ways to um, advance the ball on third downs and, and even on the fourth down on that opening drive of the second half. Oh my bad, of the second half, and. Um, I mean, it just hurt us in the long run, and we just, I don't know, we just couldn't find ways to get off the field, and we needed to get turnovers to help, you know, give the ball back to the offense, and we didn't do that. Did they do anything different? Did anything surprise you of what they were doing in the second half as far as all? Uh, not really. Some, we just we just needed to, I think sometimes we tried to do too much. Um, like, um, we tried to stay in one gap and then try to fall back in, and they would see it, and they'd go back outside, and just little things like that that we can clean up. There, nothing that really they were doing. It was just more things that we were doing. I know you guys knew they'd use the two quarterbacks, but you mentioned third downs, especially on third down. Third downs, it seemed like the Kozar guy got you know a lot of yeah. yards there. Just how tough was he tonight? I mean, he's he's pretty good. He's very mobile. He's a dual threat quarterback. Obviously, he can run the ball pretty well. He's fast, um, and he and he obviously can throw the ball. I don't know. How, he had, I know he had a he had a touchdown tonight. So was it even kind of more tricky when they had both the guys out there at the same time? Were you guys surprised? At all? Well, not we weren't. I don't know if we were surprised. Um, we figured that it was obviously they were up to something if they had two quarterbacks out there because they hadn't usually shown that on film. Um, but I mean they they did what they did. So we're gonna, you know early fourth quarter, you know Connor goes out with a broken leg or broken ankle. I know ankle. Got to be tough. You know you got two true freshmen out there. I know it's a next man up mentality. But there's not a lot of next guys for yeah. in that interior line. It's just how tough of a blow was that? One? Yeah, it was tough. It was tough to see him. I even because I was right behind him and I saw him just get. Pile drive over, and I was worried because then I start. I heard him start screaming underneath, and it's just. I mean, it's just sad to see that. Um, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do the best we can for the rest of the year, and we're gonna play for that guy because he's a, he's one of our brothers, and he played his, his butt off to uh, put us in position to win. So, how do you think the freshmen did in there in the interior line? Um, I think they did. They did all right. Obviously, they're they're probably a little nervous um, playing in Boise's um, blue turf and for the first time. So. Um, I think, I mean, I trust them. Um, they'll, get, they'll get better, and I'm not worried about it, but obviously there's nerves. It's just part of the game of football. You guys have done a real good job this year of taking away the football from the other team. Just Did they do an especially good job of you know protecting it, or you know what? I guess why did those come up today? Um, shoot, I, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I'd have to watch the film, to be honest. Um, obviously, they're, they're pretty good at, at uh, keeping possession of the ball in the first place. Um, there's little things that we can probably do. We can probably strip more often. We can probably get more pressure on the quarterback in certain times when he's throwing the ball and create havoc, um, create a chance to get a pick. But um, yeah, they're, I mean, they're a pretty good team at controlling the ball in the first place. So.